We're now going to talk about the issue of what you should and shouldn't store within a cookie. Now, this is very blurred as to what we should and shouldn't store. And obviously, within cookies, there are some circumstances where you may need to store something that would be unique to a user to, say, sign them in or perform another action on their behalf. We're not going to dive too deep into that. But what we are going to talk about is what we absolutely should not store in a cookie and kind of what cookies are and how they work. So you may already know that a cookie is a plain text file that is stored on a user's computer. It just contains text. It's not exec executable. It can't be run. However, when we revisit the website that we have stored the cookie on, we send that data along with an HTTP request and then the uh, website can reuse that information. So let's take a look at just setting a cookie very basically. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new date time instance. And you might be wondering why I'm doing this. This is so we can set the expiry for the cookie. And we're going to use PHP set cookie function. And I'm going to go ahead and store a piece of information that we absolutely shouldn't. Now, let's say you are uh, remembering a particular user. So you want them to be remembered for a week on your website when they come back to your website. You want to grab their user ID and you want to sign them in. Well, what we absolutely should not be doing is storing something like this. Now, we shouldn't really even be trying to uh, obfuscate this to make it seem like it isn't a user ID. We just shouldn't be doing this unless we have very secure um, implementation to actually handle this. We're not going to go into that too much, but if I go ahead and set this with the timestamp from my date time object, I'm going to go ahead and set this on this path. I'm going to set secure or the domain to null, secure to null, and I'm going to set HTTP only. So this is a cookie now that when we refresh the page, will be set here with this particular value. Now, not only can this value be modified, so for example, if you had signed user one in and you wanted user one to be remembered, I could modify this cookie value. I can't do it within Chrome without an extension, but I can do it easily within Firefox with something like Firebug or with some kind of uh, Chrome extension. Uh, I'm not sure about Internet Explorer, but either way, the point is I can change this value very, very easily. So what that means is I could change this value to user ID 5 or 10 or 100, and I can then have immediate access to someone's account. So that's really the first reason why we shouldn't be storing plain values like this that are so uh, integral to authenticating a user. That's really important. So that's pretty much it. But we're going to take a look at the network tab now. I'm just going to refresh the page and we're going to head over if we just pull this up to look at all of these requests. You can see here that the headers that are actually being sent along with this request actually contain that cookie value. So let's come down and find it. So you can see set cookie here, user ID equals one. So if you weren't uh, aware of how a cookie works, this is pretty much it. This value is stored on my computer and uh, my browser knows that it was set by this particular domain, this particular website, and then it goes and sends that value. So by being able to modify this value, I'm then in control of anyone's account. So that's why we shouldn't store plain text values like that that can be easily modified and used to access anyone's other, anyone else's account or any other information um, within a cookie.